Alright, hello and welcome back to Mordheim, City of the Damned. We're here with Aenir and his undead, not quite dead yet. And uh, Witch Hunter's Quist. Wow, he doesn't see a single dude except that one. They're taking Haunter in the Darkness here on Match th uh, Merchants 3. Seems to all start upstairs. Very interesting. Lord Stan the Sad. Percepting? Okay, we spotted a hippo. Hippocrates. Nice use of perception there. How does this man move? Uh, he's not really taking marked. He wants to go get the idol, which he's actually very close to. Clock is ticking, of course, on these. Anyway, uh, this is our like, third try here, so I'll recap. Aenir, look at that, right there already. Can't get away, so you got to protect this guy. A lot of people get this early cart pickup, only to lose it later. you got to... Gotta get him while you can, though, so can you protect this guy? He's got a zombie there, maybe he can throw throw the buff on. Poison Wind Globadier is coming up, maybe he can help him to the cart. Um, anyway, Aenir, the leader of the undead, very strong player. Um, he lost to Nanashi really early off of some crazy RNG. <coughs> like, uh, multiple, like, route tests passed by Nanashi, I think, stuff like that. Uh, see, this guy is really exposed, though. He's right in the middle of the road. He's going to get surrounded. Um, Strangling Globe. Very interesting. So how do you protect this guy to get back to the cart? It's one thing to get the flag. It's another thing to deposit it. And that's a very high-end, valuable target. I think people want to get the flag so quickly that they do it, but... Um, Sometimes you want to thin the herd first and then grab the flag. I had a chance against Shellproof to get the objective, for example, but he quit when I was like 10 feet away from the cart, which is understandable. I would do the same, probably. No. Thank you, Abaddon, though. <laughs> He's got a shot at somebody. There's the truck nuts. Anyway, Aenir, the captain, going against Quist. I think a rank 4 player or whatnot, but every witch hunter is doing pretty well. Aenir had an early loss to Nanashi. And was it Clyde? I don't know who his other loss was. I feel like he has another loss, though. Just kind of kept him down for a little bit. But he's definitely on the ascension. 2,500 warband rating. Uh, Call of Van Hell's probably online. And he has his very strong leaders, the Thrall, the Vampire, Necromancer, Poison Wind, Globadier. Taking damage as damage can. The Witch, witch Hunters, I was talking to Albro, trying to give him some advice. Uh, I give advice to anybody who wants it, but uh, he'll be taking on Jekyll. I don't understand that one. Um, <laughs> it's pretty fucked up, actually. Um, so just trying to tell them witch hunters, you know, they're all about kind of their, um, that's a good spot for them. There's only one door in, I think. Using all 90 seconds. The witch hunters, oh, actually it's kind of a full house. Witch hunters are all about kind of the, the armor, of course, the Templars, um, buffing. They have a hard time doing damage. They're in it to be sustained. They want to get their heals going here next. will probably be their next call. Uh, and their henchmen are kind of the worst in the game. They're just there as speed bumps and to try to protect their ranged units and their buffers. Uh, Albro has the Rat Ogre, of course. It's going to be tough for him to try to catch them out in the open with those. I don't know if the Rat Ogre is still faster than everyone, so Albro is always losing a turn with him. It's nice to see the Mastery Trial by Pain. So this guy right there, Homer, that's who you want to kill if you're facing witch hunters. You want to kind of tie up the Templar. Kill him if you can, of course. Uh, I think of the wi Warrior Priest and the Wolf Priest. Those are really good targets. 
if you can catch them out of position. But otherwise, kind of the henchmen are like speed bumps. If you can take out the henchmen, take them out, because then that's less less that they can put in the way, and then you can really get to their squishy units. But um, Undead are kind of similar. Both DLC warbands have some of the shittiest henchmen. Ghoul's notorious for being unable to disengage, being really soft and squishy. So they're kind of a hindrance to you killing what actually matters. Obviously the vampire and the support heroes. Um, surprised to not see Crypt Horror for Aenir. I think a couple have taken a Crypt Horror. I think Bubs has one. But the Crypt Horror obviously a force. It can actually enter buildings as well. But these ghouls can gum. This is ideal. This is exactly. He'll even have a dodge stance. And he's leaving room. The other ghoul can get in here as well. Other ghoul can get right in there. This Templar is not going anywhere for a long time. I don't even know if you attack. Because the Templar wants to attack you. This is kind of a bad move. There's no point in attacking. He missed anyway. He got a 91. But this. So here's the idea the Templar is going to attack you anyway. So you're going to be using these red pills as soon as it's the Templar's turn. So don't give him that free initial, uh, initial opening attack. And as expected, they're built as dodge ghouls. So this guy needs to protect the Necromancer. Maybe he can lock up the Warrior Priest right up the steps. I think that would be a good decision. I think you go right up the steps and get that Warrior Priest. It's the same principle. You've locked this guy into place, and he's not going to be able to cast... Armor of Righteousness on anybody, and he's not going to be able to get on your Necromancer. Assuming he's near a wall or something, you got to at least go spot it out. It's free to spot. Yeah, you can lock him right against this wall. I think that's an easy choice. It's not necessarily kill this guy, and that's kind of not what these henchmen do anyway, but they're going to lock him down so his Thrall and his Vampire can get to work on real targets. This guy has nobody to buff now. Don't attack. Please don't attack. You already did it once. Don't attack. That's a giant fucking hammer. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Perfectly done. I'm glad he's listening to the live stream. He's not actually, but... <laughs> oh, he's got a Doomweaver. I think I forgot that. It's pretty cool to see. I think you could take him to the Templar, too. Just throw him right on the Templar. You could start to bring this guy to cover the Necromancer if you really want. But these guys are just here to gum shit up. And you've got the perfect target right there at the Templar. What's up, Karn? Bars boss man here in chat. That Flagellant started downstairs. That's pretty rough. He's got a pat. They're pretty agile, though. He'll probably pass the climb-ups, but... If that was, like, a heavily armored unit down that wall, that'd be... Yeah, this is an easy choice. Now, in his defense, maybe this is why he spent the pills. He knew he'd be bringing this guy in there to attack. So, there's no guarantee which one he would engage. And there's the buff, which saved him. It was a 67. It would have been a 72% chance to hit, but the Templar has the passive that increases melee resist when engaged by two opponents. This Templar with a one-handed axe is going to have a hard time breaking out. I think you'll see the Wolf pe Priest and the Flagellant come in support. This Poison Wind Globadier might get locked down immediately here. Looks like someone's coming in. What is this Vampire going to do to free things up? It's already off to an interesting, interesting start. The dynamics of where they were... Uh, wow, that po I don't know if that Do Doomweaver will have an easy way up either. Yeah, it was really risky putting him in here, but but he has a vampire in support. Is the vampire faster than the wolf priest? Nine times out of ten they are. The wolf priests are so damn slow. Karn, they're both going for crushed, yes. It's the crack cocaine of Mordheim. And this guy is uh, susceptible to terror, so you bring in the vampire right here. He's in a... Once he switch weapons, he's in all alone, and he's terrorized. Life might not be good for him. 
And he needs to kind of make his way over or tie up the Zealot. He might make his way over towards his Necromancer, though. He might be able to get the Zealot and all alone. Yeah, it's worth scouting. See if you can get the Thrall and the Vampire on him. It doesn't look like... Oh, it's a Flagellant anyway. Is he just going to tie him up? The Flagellant is going to win this engagement. Actually, he looked low level. Do you have like 150 HP? Yeah. Wait, what? Oh, he's the one he shot. That makes sense. That makes sense. And getting 50 damage. Bad trade again. Ain't you're determined to en engage targets. Wow. I just... That's... You start in a dodge position on Haunter in the Darkness. I just don't understand why he's attacking on turn one. It's not generally a good idea. You gotta support this guy, right? Going for the Wolf Priest? There you go. You can trap him in here. Don't attack! Just like literally walk into him, Anir. Just walk into him, enter a stance. There you go. That's what you should have done with the other guy. I mean, I get wanting to kill units. You want to kill units, but I don't know. He's been able to lock down this guy. He could have locked down that guy with attacking. Locked down the Templar. Um, he's locked down the Poison Wind Globadier. He has to lock down this Necromancer or he's going to lose uh, his idol into the cart pretty quickly. At the same time, the Poison Wind Globadier has the Truck Nuts and he's locked down. It's really cool to see the dynamic. Like, if you weren't doing secondaries, the way this game plays out is totally fucking different. On a rank 10 tournament or something, it's totally fucking different. So I love that we're doing these secondaries, guys. Like, you're not worrying about getting fucking flags and shit. You just go and kill each other. And it ends up a very one-sided match, typically. Uh, where the higher initiative guy just kind of wins because he's just fucking killed everybody. But in this, you're like, oh, my high initiative guy is going to go get flags and waste all his red pills and do this. <laughs> so, very different. I got the parry off, though. 51. Uh, if he had red pills, he could now counterattack. Switching for initiative. Nice. I mean, so there I get it, you know. You wouldn't have get, been able to do two attacks since he had a two-hander, so maybe it was worth it. I don't know. I don't know. It's hard to say. I understand wanting to kill that target because he's already injured, so I understand that one. I, I mean, I think he's done it well. He knew he wanted to attack this guy, so it makes sense why he attacked with these. He wanted to kill that one, and then the warrior priest he just engaged. So, to be fair to Anya, I think he's played it well. How does this Doomweaver get up the steps? The steps aren't intact. So, if this building doesn't have steps, this guy is really out of position. Most likely there will be steps up, but if there's not, this Doomweaver is in a tough place. Yeah, he's hating that this guy's downstairs now. Trying to find a way up. There should have been a climb up there, I think. It's typically always a climb up. I know there's a jump down. He's pretty disappointed with how everyone's locked up already. He is really slow, but still faster than these slow-ass wolf priests. So, Albro, if you're watching or watch this in the future, like, this is ideal. Like, neutralize this buffer. Neutralize this guy and then kill everything else. Kill the wolf priest. Kill the wolf priest. Kill the captain. And then start taking out henchmen. You'll be in a pretty good sp uh, spot. Not sure the necro... I think the necromancer can disengage... 
All right, interesting. He start, starts on the top floor, so he can immediately jump down. Uh, either I would think the vampire is going to get on the zealot. We'll see where this guy goes. I would think he'd try to go towards the captain. I think he'd want the vampire in there, wouldn't you? You want to get this guy killed as quickly as possible. And he's Im he's not immune to terror and shit. And this guy's pretty tanky. Doomweavers are pretty tanky. I would think he'd head up s top with him. It uh, looks like he's sending the vampire up top. His leadership is six. I mean, this guy's going to be really, really prone to the terror test, but opting to go with the straight attack with the Doom Weaver. Th th this is just it. I mean, these zealots, these flagellants, they don't last long, especially without Armor of Righteousness. Now, he's going to be in an all alone as soon as the rat switches to maces. He'll go before him, pretty sure. This guy should be able to slice right through a zombie. He doesn't have Call of Van Hell on. He's not going to kill him in one turn, but he should do a good 150 damage. Oh, there was room. I was worried about that, actually. Yeah, I don't know why he put him there. I thought he put him more on this angle, right there. I thought there might be a way. It's it's so hard to say sometimes. If he gets on the Necromancer, that's huge. I I mean, it looked like he left him space when he engaged him straight on. I don't think so. Chat can comment. Lord Stan the Sad. He's about to be. That's what you get for having this ugly s human skin cloak. Does anybody feel bad? Staggering blow. Nice. Interesting. <laughs> Very interesting. I, I don't know if I like that. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Um, staggering blow. Mastery is such a fucking A-plus skill. It takes away 30 initiative. You can take away 90 initiative with three staggering blows. I really, really, really like it on Templars. It's very strong on Templars. But on Wolf Priests, they're always using two-handers. So I don't know how much viability you get out of it. That's good she could reach there and support. I think the Necromancer can disengage, though, this way. Yeah, he's not. This wolf priest can get away again. See, this is a good. I like it on the thrall. Ninety-seven out of ninety-five. No, no. Look, dude, he's already slow as shit. I guess trying to get it slower than the thrall. I didn't see their initiatives. Either way, he had some bad, <laughs> bad luck on that. Ainer's had some bad luck lately. Poor man. He kind of won this deployment, though, so it's hard to feel too bad. Vince not in the stance. This guy, Pete the Pianist, was in the dodge stance, so good choice hitting Vince. This guy has to fight his way out of here. I don't know, man. <laughs> This is going to be a good game. I, I said every every match this week is going to be a good game. This is already looking like a really good game. Here comes the dude with the giant fucking axe of doom. 71 to 79 damage. Remember, though, he's got trial by pain. Uh, he is the leader, though, so he probably has some healing on him. You can see him just losing blood out of his hands. He's really going to have to go back to the camp and suck the shit out of the drag. Poor Dreg's going to get it. Don't chart. Look for the leader first. Please, Anir. Look for the leader. He might be right over here. Please look for the leader. 
please look for the leader. Yes. Yes. The leader. And you'll... Cl you'll. Oh, my lord. He's kind of locked in anyway, I guess. Juicy hit. You knew this great axe would hurt. This is a lot like my guy Peaches. This is Peaches in heavy armor, but good lord. 70 right back, and his turn is coming up. Fuck. This guy's fucked already, man. Yeah, 30. Oh, that hurts. Anyer, the bloody, may die right here. He needs two healing potions. Man, this is such a good game. These witch hunters. Yeah, that's important. 60 wounds back is very important. I don't like how he kind of positioned here. I don't think this witch hunter can get on him. He definitely can't shoot him. He's too close. And I don't know if he'll be able to get in his combat circle. So that looks like a mistake by Quist. You knew that vampire was coming. You would have withstood his attacks. Maybe put the witch hunter captain in the corner and just accept the fact he'll be engaged by the vampire. But then you could switch out to melee next turn and have that uh, wolf priest support you as well. And this is well done. He's going to have a hard time getting through the dodge with a two-handed hammer. I fucking love disease carrier. It either reduces crit initiative, which is what it did there. Crit resistance, initiative, or hit chance or something like that. Melee resist. And I really love that with a crushing blow. If you get the you could get uh, the minus five to initiative, which he did. You get a crushing blow on this guy. That's minus fifteen. You can get a lot of really good is it dodge and parry? Thanks. You can get some really good initiative ladder tricks, which is what the undead excel at. Disease carrier is one of the better uh, traits on a henchman, I think. Now look at that. Look at that. Yeah. <laughs> the heal saved him. Is it? Yeah, this guy is beef. Beef fucking jerky. And this guy at least maybe has some healing he can put right back on this guy. I love Wolf Priest. There's so, look at this guy. He's so fucking cool. Got his fucking dead wolf, which is kind of ironic. Why do you have a dead wolf on you? And the helmet and the fucking arm guard. It's like, you don't fuck with me. I'm a wolf priest. A new round has started. He's a giant fucking axe. <laughs> you kick on the guy. On the guy with the big axe. Yeah, he, he should have gone after his captain. I agree. He would have been feeling that axe anyway. <laughs> Well, I said my opinion when it started. I think the Doomweaver should have been holding up. He should have put the Doomweaver in the doorway there and just entered a stance, not even attack the Wolf Priest. The Vampire should be killing this fucker right now. This should have been the Vampire. He should have been upstairs tanking, because Doomweavers are very tanky as far as melee resist and whatnot. I think the Doomweaver should have been holding the door up there. First of all, you don't want to lose your vampire. He's so important to morale and whatnot. And he's a damage dealer. He's just too important to the team to risk. Alright, not even opting to attack. Let's see what he can do here. I don't think he can get on his combat circle, though. So this was a big mistake. It almost looks like a chick. Oh, my lord. This guy looks terrible without the mask on. Can he get in there? This is a huge moment. I don't think he can. At the same time, can he heal the wolf priest? I don't think he can get in there, ain't you? Maybe he can. He's setting up a Bugsman. Bugman give him... Oh, he can. This is huge. And he succeeded. We don't see it. <laughs> You're not wearing a shield, so... 
I feel like these will land. <laughs> that is so cool to see, guys, how prepared Quist was. Some of you beginning PvPers. He knew he was facing potentially a vampire, and he literally did. So he had a Madcap, and he had a Bugman's. Madcap for hit chance, because he's a ranged guy. And the Bugman's for cur courage. And they both paid dividends. So it was really well done. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. I mean, a newer person might not realize to take those things. See, look at this, 70%. Now, again, he's a ballistics guy, but he took a madcap. I think this guy would have been better served standing up there. I think he would have had a better defense. Anir was relying on the armor of his vampire and the giant great axe just cut right through it with some strong blows. Really overestimated his armor. So that's a huge win for Christ. Quist. Um, Aenor still has kind of positioning on him. And this Necromancer really fell. He, remember, he was first to go. That staggering blow dropped him all the way down to 51. You know what's really cool there with bringing that guy down, the uh, Witch Hunter Captain? He prevented the All Alone on the Zealot as well. So wh Chris Quist is playing really well, really, really well. Most people would say, hey, this guy is um, hes a ranged captain. I can't put him possibly into melee. But uh, Quist realizing he has full health, saving this unit, seeing the initiative ladder, and realizes this, this guy needs some support. I don't know if I agree with that. Maybe he's looking for the marked or crush their will. I think you kind of want to get this guy while he's out of parry. But, I mean, that works too. But I've talked about you typically want to focus fire. So if you're going to focus fire, you don't go this way and this way and then that way and that way. These two should be fighting one. Because this rat and the doom weaver are going to be focus firing him. So uh, alternatively, Quist should be focus firing the doom weaver. But I get it, the, the rat has the idol at the same time. And that's what changes the dynamic to these games. That's what makes them so fun. You probably want to lock this guy in correctly this time. Probably putting him right there. The one thing is that may have locked in his necromancer. If his combat circle is kind of in the way, this guy's not going to get free now. I'm pretty sure he'd have had a disengage, but I'm not sure if he has it anymore now. That'll be really interesting to see. He could have taken a delay and guaranteed the disengage with that Necromancer and still had two s two blue pills for the parry. These guys are going to be fighting each other forever. It's the battle of the shitty henchmen, guys. Witch Hunters versus Undead. I really, really hope we don't get a desync. I know I just said the words, but this is looking like a really good match. I think, yeah, I think he blocked him in. See that combat circle? Yeah. God, so this guy's 36. Imagine she landed that staggering blow. He's going to do some staff attacks. Could have maybe had this guy. Interesting, he doesn't have mastery call of Van Hell. He's definitely going to have it by round three. There's no way he doesn't have that by round three. So that was missed 95% uh, attack on this guy, probably coming back to haunt him. Pyro's going to be able to just punish this Necromancer. The Zealot alone wouldn't have killed him. But this giant fucking axe certainly will. Actually, I think that's a halberd. <laughs> or a wolf priest. All we can I I can never fucking tell any of the three apart. Yeah, it's interesting that these guys taking Haunter. Both of these guys hate Haunter deployments. Uh the the undead and the witch hunters want uh like kind of 
a couple turns to set up with Call of Van Hell and Armor of Righteousness. But this is the really fun dynamic of um, Crush Their Will coming out in this tournament. These guys both being like, yeah, fuck it. <laughs> we'll take Scattered. Really well done with the weapon swap, attack, weapon swap. I think that's a good move. You're probably getting more damage out from that than just two sword attacks. Especially if you have a purple hammer versus just a blue sword. He's insisting on giving this guy more dodge chance, so let's see here. And uh, it came back to bite him, gave him 79. It would have been 69, it would have landed that attack. Thank you, Karin. That's exactly it. Because he has the idle, idle thief buff, whatever the hell it's called. Liberator's Boon, I believe. And you're already... He's a very critical opponent. <laughs> he's like me when I play. Like, this is me against Shell Proof. I'm just chatting away, and Shell just... Doesn't even talk. You know, I'm if I'm playing a game with you, this is like a board game. I'm always the one like, oh look at that, you got we're playing Monopoly, you got the railroad, oh you know. Like I always like I think that's why I like commenting on the matches. I like doing a play by play. And then you get these opponents that are just like stoic and don't say anything. It's like, are you angry or just don't want to talk or so it's hard to like figure out what's going on while you're playing. And some people just don't like chatting while they're playing. Eight attempts. Yeah, I don't know what. <laughs> Is this the guy that was downstairs? Well, he broke the dodge stance at least. Oh, wow. Are you fucking kidding me? How injured is this guy? <laughs> I'm talking about like, oh, he's a, he's a flagellal. He'll just climb right up that wall. This guy looks he's lucky he didn't break his fucking shins. What is his health? He's probably missing like 40 to 50 health. Necromancer. Getting back his idol. This is looking heavily in favor of Quist at this point. He has his Doomweaver locked in. He has his Poison Wind Globator locked in. The Vampire's dead. And the Necromancer's about to die. Necromancer's so easy to hit. This is going to be even for a Flagellant. Wow, never mind. He had a 75% dodge. I didn't realize he had such a good dodge. Wait. No. Oh, he just has to hit L a couple times. There we go. I was going to say, no way he had a dodge chance. Alright, he's got his thing back. Can he get it from the Poison Wind Globadier? I think he's going to lose morale faster than... Because he's got to kill the Doom Weaver, which will chop this down. Then he's got to kill the Poison Wind Globadier. Just to even get to the idol. Alright, Pythagoras. Unless there's a door we can't see here. This kind of building, though, typically doesn't have a door on the other side. Interesting. Again, you never know who can disengage. That seems like a really weird one. I think he would have wanted to do that first, kind of forgetting he has the skill, maybe. Hitting Homer pretty hard. I I don't see the damage for Anya anymore, though. It's going to be hard. It's going to be hard for him to get the crush. It'd be cool if he can fight his way through there. We all know that Wolf Priest is coming to put a hurt down on that Doom Weaver. Problem is the witch hunter captain's in the way. And that's returning the favor. Wow, that's heavy armor. Or again, I think this guy doesn't have. The, I think the one guy has the great axe, and this guy must have a Ulrican axe. That's your axe made out of tin, where the other one's made out of steel. Oof. 
Look at that. That's so fun to see, man. Snow Kings with Trial by Pain. You can see where he's going with this. It's pretty fun. It's pretty fun. It's funny because that skill doesn't work against other Wolf Priests, though, so... I don't think he can get the Thrall into combat with him. Because if you're, if you're Aenir, you're now going, where are my kills coming from? Who can I kill? How can I bring this back? She needs to get the fuck way over where the Poison Wind Globadier is. That's probably what he's thinking right now, but he's she's perfectly blocked in. Uh, can you go up this ramp? If he goes back to his left, he can go up the ramp and try to help the support over there. That's where the action is going to go down. At the same time, you know one of your... These guys are going to drop, but I think he's perfectly blocking the doorway now. I think you can bring her around. I mean, you don't want to throw a hero against the henchman again. That's like a loss. I mean, she can win this, but it's like your hero is fighting henchmen. This is what this is what he wants. You just took 20 damage. <laughs> he didn't even use the insult. I hope he has web of steel. Okay. Is that halberd? I mean, I don't know. I mean, Quist may not have even looted a wolf wolf axe. I mean, this looks strongly in Quist's flavor. Doing what his captain, Nanashi, was unable to do. Let's just rub that in a second here. <laughs> it's not in the bag, but, I mean, it's looking really good. Oh, man. I think RNG's been very fair. That Thrall having those bad misses against the Wolf Priest... Um, you know, it wasn't that game breaking. The Necromancer would have died either way. He was di dead by the time the Wolf Priest turn came up. But then the Wolf Priest missed an attack against her. You know, it's been pretty even. I can't. I don't think you could say RNG cost me this for either player yet. Here comes Big Papa. Um, really a shame though that this guy's in the way, and since he's the end of end of the initiative ladder, he can't he can't fix this. Oh, I wonder what I wonder what debuff he just took. He's really injured though. I mean, this guy doesn't have healing or anything. Is he gonna go free up the wolf War warrior priest? Is a good choice. Or just stay here and wait for Homer to disengage. He's really injured. Yeah, this is where the initiative ladder turning over really hurts. He'd love to disengage with this guy and then bring him in. But he's going to have to wait all the way till the next turn. And the Doomweaver's free now, right? A new round has started. If if he disengages, I'm saying like say so, say he takes his captain away, they're disengaged now because he's dead. What if he gets a sneaky shot off here on the wolf priest? I don't think he can. He might find an angle on the captain. Is there a miracle door over there? I don't think there is. They're not looking. Okay, it's shut. You could throw poison out there. Yeah, he's hunting for that. For that shot on the captain. Ugh, this is where you're glad you have 90 seconds? Because it's going to take a while. He may be able to go to the right side and throw it over his shoulder. I think he can get a shot off if he goes to the right side. Throws a globe over. Now go. Now you got to open the door. you got to go over there. And you could probably throw it through. Right there. Where he was for a second. Right there. He's not even trying. Over there. there you, go. you should probably throw it, be able to throw it over his shoulder. Yeah. Should have been doing right there. Now bring it right more. And now bring it down. Right there. There you go. As if he can hear me. Yeah, I didn't see the initiative ladder. Uh, 70. Wow, comfortably ahead of the Doomweaver. 
But you got that Poison Wind Globadier not doing nearly his potential and damage. So this gets back to what I said on the first turn when he first went to that idol with the Necromancer. I really think, unless you know you can get that, like, first turn, it's kind of risky to go for the idol. Because you really, like, really exposed his Necromancer, and he really put his Poison Wind Globadier in a weird position taking his own idol. I think he can kind of clean up the mess later and try to then get the idols back. That's kind of what Quist is trying to do now, is clean up this mess. Now he's pinned this guy in here, so can the Doomweaver even leave him alone? Plus he knows this guy's ambushing. So does he bring this guy out, get ambushed by a giant axe, walk into his own po poison cloud, try to kill him, and then try to cover the poison wind globadier? He kind of has to play defense, right? So otherwise he kills the poison wind globadier, loses the truck nuts. He picks up the truck nuts, puts them there, puts those there. You know, he's got the idol. Crush their will, I mean. Karin thinks Aenir still has this. I don't see how. He has just fucking henchmen left. The Templar is locked down, but ghouls are worth morale. Uh, those ghouls are gonna die. Well, yeah, Euripides is looking a little injured, but he's not landing it. Look at that, minus 10 to initiative. That's what I'm talking about. Really slows this guy down. I mean, he is a Templar. He probably had a good over a 50% parry chance, right? Yeah. He's, he, he landed a lot of early attacks against this guy, a lot of 60%. I think it's been pretty fair. Interesting. You popped, you popped his stance. Why not just attack there? I really, I don't know what color this flail is, but I wish he would just keep this fucking flail in his hand and attack him three times. You know he's going to dodge that one, so then you can at least get two flail attacks in. This never-ending battle here. If this desyncs, I'll be so sad. I can't talk like that. I mean, Quist is in uh, the Netherlands, and Aenir's in Germany. They probably have a good connection going. I think you got to lock this guy up, because he's got the, the totem. Here's the thing, though. He put the Thrall on the Zealot, not on this Flagellant. But he's got Call of Van Hell on 250 HP. It's going to be really hard for him to chew through this. He keeps failing the fear. I mean, Aenir can win this battle here for sure, yeah. Yeah, this is such a good match, guys. Such a good match. Yeah, I mean, his hit chance is probably anemic. Plus, I think she's in Web of Steel. That was an easy choice. Here you can see this man's skull into the brain cavity. I think you kind of delay. You know he took a dodge stance, so yeah, I don't like that. I think you delay. He missed anyway. But if you land it, he's probably going to dodge. So I think you delay, and then you attack three times with the Templar. If he's not dead yet, you've broken the dodge stance. You can just fucking club him with that hammer. Now we determined Quist. Dig is, I know, from uh, USA. Dig is from, he lives in Cleveland, my hometown, actually. Uh, Quist is from the Netherlands. Dig is not originally from my hometown. I know he just lives there. I can't believe someone moved to my hometown. I mean, I hear every now and again someone moves to my hometown for the every 10 people that leave. But... Most likely Dig f forced to move there for work. I mean, he would love to kill this guy. So this guy might march through the poison cloud. Yeah, double poisons. But that fucking hurt. He's got to get him. Do the blood offering first. This time. 
Oh, it doesn't quite kill him. I mean, you got to do it, though. I mean, you're committed. Oh, this is going to hurt. This is going to hurt so bad. Don't. No. Did it just desync? Oh, God. <laughs> All right. So he's dead. But this guy's like a fucking shell of himself. He's going to take a bunch of poison, too. You can lock him into the corner. Yeah, easy choice. I don't know why he didn't blood offer. It's really bizarre to me. You could be doing like 40 to 50 damage on him. I mean, that works too. If he even lands the attack. I guess he can, if he gets a parry, he gets the counterattack and then get another counterattack. Just flail, flail this fucker down. Oh, I don't like this. You know he's dodging this. Every time. And then you maybe land your one hit here. You're only getting one hit with this hammer every turn. For 56. I mean, don't you think the flail can do that? See, that's seven red pills. We know he has seven red pills. So just attack, attack, attack. I think that might... I mean, unless this is the worst fucking flail level ever. Maybe it's a white flail. Yeah, this is not a good matchup. I don't, I don't like that he kind of did this. I think you just flee and then go after the flagellant. She's really not doing much in this engagement. I think the previous turn he could have had her really close to that witch hunter captain. So, yeah, well, deciding not to take the damage. Let's see if he remembers. Oh, able to get through now. That's really nice, too. Let's see if he remembers he's got the snow effect on. Maybe he gets to the captain? Is he counting? Yeah, I don't think she makes it. Because of that pill for disengaging. She's going to be the key to him winning or losing. She's kind of the only freed up unit on the map for anybody at this fucking point. I mean, right? Now the zealot is, but... What is he doing? He just went right back and not using the red pills and ran out of time. <laughs> yeah, it was. I think he should have just attacked the flagellant. Flagellants are so squishy. Very indecisive, but she is freed up now, um, able to do some things. That zealot will probably try to re-engage her. Oh, man. See, that's the dodge he could have broke. And now the f the flagellant could be hitting right back into his spinal column right here. I mean, obviously the flagellant missed anyway, so that's a big hit. Is th these are 90%, I think, so he's probably dead. Yeah, 90. Yeah, it's easy kill. You're going to have a 2 versus 1. This guy's not going to stand in there long as a ghoul. Wearing cloth armor. Let's hope he he delays next time and it attacks, 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 and gets the two-hander to actually land on this guy. Attacking with the two-hander first is not a good idea. A new round has started. This guy has really been underutilized by Quist. He's an uh, he's an archer. I mean, you couldn't, you can't quite help it the way. I mean, it's Haunter in the Darkness. He couldn't help that. He had to get into melee when he got into melee. Yeah, this is going to be bad. He's in Web of Steel. Which is interesting. I usually always see sidestep with a Doomweaver. Because they have really good agility. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, he's got an axe, so just go in there with the axe. Just attack twice with the axe. That's five axe attacks against this ghoul. Conversely, he can go lock up the thrall that he left in the hallway. It is really, it's cool to see people doing that. Uh, you know, this guy's freed up. I don't, he can't reach the poison wind globe here, but that's going to be an issue. That frees up his bullets. I forgot he's freed up now, too. This does look a bit better for Aenir. We're running into that same issue that witch hunters have every time now, is where is their damage coming from? I don't think she's locked down. I think she can disengage. That was a weird angle, though. This is a losing battle. I think you just delay, move the zealot out of the way, and then you can disengage. You don't want to fight this guy. This is There's no point to this. He's worth a zero morale. He has full HP. He's basically attacking air right now. This is, this is that never-ending battle upstairs. <laughs> this is object futility. These guys keep attacking into each other's stances. Yeah, he's going to come out with his guns blazing. You might have to attack now. A couple aim shots into the chest. And here come the shots into the chest. He's immune to poison. He might just go up and get a plus 10% hit chance. Or just two aim shots. It's a really easy choice for two aim shots, I would think. You should have the pills to do it. Yeah, I don't know if that gives the range height advantage. You might have to go up to the left. And he might have it up there. It's really hard with these angles, though, and there's no backtrack, so just take the shots down there. Do two aim shots right here. Just shoot, shoot. Yep. Reload and aim shot, and this guy's dead. Very obviously he has quick reload. It's pretty essential on the poison wind. It's going to be one of the first skills you get. And there he goes. That's why I think you should have attacked into him. You knew he was dying anyway. There's the disease carrier. This is really swung back in Aenir's favor. That's why Karand is Karand. He knows everything. I mean, these heroes are losing to henchmen. That's bad. That's just so bad, right? Just swing the flail three times. This guy could be dead. I think this guy has the flag, Socrates. He might pull it all off right here. Like, if you kill him with the thrall, kill him with the thrall, and morale might drop, though, below th route threshold. But if you kill him, that's 16 plus whatever he's worth. Aenir should be looking at the math right now. Was it 31? 16? Plus 15. He should not be worth 15. Well, maybe he is. He's probably close. Mine were worth 14. All right, he's pinned this guy. I don't know why you don't attack, attack, flee, and then pin this guy. I mean, I don't, I don't know. You want to kill this guy. He's got the idol. Only reason Aristotle has less health is because he was shot by the poison wind globe here on turn one. Otherwise, this would just be just each slowly killing each other. You don't want to overkill him now. At this point, Anier, I think you've got it. Guys failed three f fear tests. <coughs> I mean, he's just useless. Um, you could try to attack, but he's worth zero morale again. 
You gotta remember, guys, so the Doom Weaver is really injured. He could probably kill him, and the Poison Wind Globadier is really injured. If you could get those two guys, and the Poison Wind Globadier is worth a lot of morale, because he's got the idol. I mean, this is still Quiss, but he hasn't been able to make his way over there. Look at this guy. Him and the Poison Wind Globadier. These two, if he can kill them, that's it. So injured. He's taking poison damage. This guy is so injured, too. But he's just not able to free up a unit to get it over there. This Flagellant's free. He put this guy onto that one. He couldn't have made it there anyway. I think he was from over there. So instead of engaging her, if he just ambushed over here maybe, block this way, it would have been a better decision. She is locked down at least. It's going to prevent Socrates from dying. He's bringing him this Doom Weaver. I don't know if I agree with this. He, this is this is all for I want to get the fucking idol. So it's really fun to see. It really is. Normally you'd be like, oh god, I gotta keep this guy alive. You go camp in a building. So it really just changes the dynamic so much. It makes the game so much more fun. Yeah, well, it's a flagellant. They tend to dodge. This is where this becomes risky now because he's got an axe in his hand and can attack him. Uh, he's gonna take. Well, he doesn't have a stance. He used all his blue pills, so maybe he kills this guy next turn. If you consider the poison check, uh, there's a good chance he can kill this Doom Weaver. Then you just gotta get the Poison Wind Globadier and Quist is wanted again. The Templar being locked down forever was just so hard on him. Oh yeah, I thought there'd be room. That's why I really didn't like that. Yeah, going for that Flagellant. Totally going for this Flagellant. He might be one short of being able to route. I think Aenir's going to get this. <laughs> okay, well, that's why you flee, so you get two more chances. Getting the flag back. That's going to be 14 plus 16 is 31 short. That's why I'm here to comment for you guys. I know all the math, unless I'm playing shellproof. And then I say good game, because I thought my guy was worth 24 morale for some fucking reason. Yeah, may as well. Yeah, that's good, because then you can disengage. Just please use your flail three times. Beat the fuck out of the guy with the flail. Stop doing 50 damage with the hammer. Oh, it pains me. Maybe we'll get a dodge bypass. He hasn't had one yet. No, he'll just miss entirely. <laughs> oh, man. This warrior priest. How useless are they, right? They're great with the buffs. They kind of suck in melee. They're right there at the purifier. I mean, they have good weapon skill. That's what's really weird, but they never seem to fucking land anything. Dodge. Templars, man. 235 HP. You gotta love Templars, but hate Templars. They're just incapable of chewing through their enemies at this point. As Witch Hunters go forward, they need to find a way, like Frenzy, Strong Blows, Daredevil, whatever it is, to get these guys. I think Mastery Adrenaline Rush with a Frenzy is really good. So then you can do, what, six attacks? A new six Frenzy attacks. Started. You know, you can try to get through, th through things. You need to find a way to make them offensive. They're defensive in the sense that they get large HP pools and they get armor of righteousness and whatnot. This is where it's just really dangerous for Quist. I don't think he can prevent the secondary. I really don't think he can prevent it. 
This guy's about to drop off the testicles. Yeah, it was a close game. It really was. Wait, did he take the flagellant against the Doom Weaver and just dodge stance? I don't think he can to his side. Well, I've I can't say much. I did I did it against did it against uh, Clyde my first match. I'm not gonna say anything. That's why I didn't I wasn't too upset when Shellproof routed as I was walking back to the cart with the flag. Turnabout is fair play. I don't think he can kill himself with anybody. So truck nuts redeposited. Uh oh, uh, Anier, they need to go on the idol, don't they? I mean, <laughs> do they need to go right there? I don't know what Karin will take. Maybe he's realizing that. Technically, they go on that little spot right there. <laughs> Maybe Karin will let him get away with just putting it in there. I don't think he put it in there. All right, I mean, it's kind of irrelevant. I think we'll let him get by with it. He doesn't have it yet. Quist, you can tell, disappointed with the outcome. So close yet so far. His only damage dealer was that Wolf Priest. And I think his captain could have been, but the captain, of course, died. While only using his pistols once. Don't kill him. You better not kill him, bro. Yeah. Enter a parry stance. I don't know what he's doing with the rat. Just end his turn. Trying to get to the thrall here. Just he's got to kill a unit. That is the that is the catch. This guy has failed four fear tests in a row. Does this bring the undead to rank three, Karnd? I think it does. So they can get an extra PvE now as well. Undead doing really well for themselves. Aenor is a very strong captain. Here comes the Thrall, finally, I think. Uh, what's funny is this guy might could get a dodge bypass and blast through the ghoul and make things very interesting suddenly. We'll see. Yeah, Undead can have the lead. That's fine. Oh, he finally used the flail. 71 HP, though. It's too late now. Yeah, if he'd just done this the whole time, I think he would have killed Baco the Bassist. I was going to say, yeah, can he? Yeah, why didn't he do that? That's the math. I was about to say, wait, there's no tire, and he could probably drop the fucking hammer down. That should have been the turn order. Flail, flail, two-hander. That's unlocking the key right there. Very interesting twist. I mean, can he get this Doom Weaver? I don't think he can. That's, I don't know, Clyde. I think he finally did the math. You do attack, attack, two-hander. Attack, attack, two-hander. You could have had three attacks and really just been hit hitting the shit out of that ghoul. I'm sure Clyde realizes, uh, Quist realizes that now. It's kind of a disappointment to him. 
She's going to disengage. She has the idol. She's got to put it in the cart, and then she'll he'll try to kill somebody. Probably that warrior. I think she's going to just stand here and take a stance. There's no reason not to. You can kill the warrior priest with anybody. Just take a parry stance right here. Or don't. <laughs> uh, I mean, is that guy carrying a flail still? No, he's got the hammer, so he's really slow. Imagine if he had switched back to the flail. He could have maybe run there and grabbed. But this flagellant's open, Anier. What are you doing, bud? I don't know why he didn't just go into parry stance. He's got to kill those wolf warrior priests. Or lock this guy the fuck back up. He'll just be like, yip, 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 yoink. You gotta go get that flagellant, man. Don't you? You're not, the wolf priest is inside here. You've got to get the flagellant. Oh, man. Oh, man. He doesn't want to kill himself, Clyde. Clyde, he's winning. There's no reason to kill himself, but he should have walled that flagellant. That flagellant has a one-handed axe. The you know the rat might go first though. The rat's pretty fast. I don't remember. But the flagellant might be able to sneak right through there and you get the flag back. This is kind of what he should have been doing with this guy too. Oh my lord, that hurt. Another strong blow, and he's down, I think. <laughs> Never mind, the Templar will be free. Land this. Land it. Come on, buddy. <laughs> Boom! Comes the hammer. Templar has some blue pills. That is terrifying. Quist bringing it together here at the end. This guy can get over here. Plato has 65 initiative, which is faster than the fucking rat. If Plato goes and gets the idol, this is over. <laughs> Blocking the ambush, that's actually excellent for him, because now Plato is freed up. If he goes and gets the idol, I think Quist wins this. A new round has started. Oh my god, go get that idol, buddy. Go get the fucking idol. Puts him in a route test. Plus it prevents the secondary. Just go get the idol. Go get the idol. I know you're going to get the idol. Please go get the idol. It's right there. It's right there. <laughs> it's right there. Get it. Get it. <laughs> okay. I mean, that prevents the one, but you got to pick that up. That oh, my God. He takes... The secondary, right at the end. Here's the thing now. If he kills this guy, he the might not even pass. If he kills this you. guy, he can't get the secondary anywhere. What a fucking twist. Ain't <laughs> oh, my lord, Ainier. I'm sorry, man. It's You got to be able to laugh at it after the fact. But holy shit. What a game. <laughs> Oh, there's been some really good games, man. So many good games. Like, my match, this match. Please stop attacking. Just end your turn. Don't kill yourself, man. Just make them take a route test. End your turn. Let's see. It's success! <laughs> success! All right, route. Plato's got a route immediately. He prevents the secondary. You got a route, right? You got a route. Route. Voluntary route. <laughs> Quist, what are you doing? You got a route. Your idol was stolen. <laughs> Is he giving him the secondary? He's giving him the secondary. Just route. I didn't even see the leadership test. It was probably very low. I, Ainier's like, I can't believe he's giving me this. He's giving him the secondary. Shellproof didn't... Nanashi didn't give me a secondary. Shellproof didn't give me... Oh, my Lord. He just gave him the secondary, guys. 
I need to see this route test. <laughs> and you just got the fucking secondary back. What a kind gentleman. And then he gets a fucking crit. <laughs> I don't know why he didn't route. That was bizarre. I guess it was honorable. No one's honorable against me. I'd have three Crush Their Wills completed. <laughs> oh my lord. I can't believe Anir passed the route test, too. Quist went from preventing the secondary and winning to losing and giving the secondary again. Like, that's so fucked up. He could have at least, you know, after that bullshit RNG, just been like, all right, you're not getting the secondary. I think everyone could have been happy with that. But uh, I don't know, man. I guess the warrior priest maybe can pass a route test here and do it all over again. Take the <laughs> idol back? I don't fucking know. Success! <laughs> I don't think the warrior priest can get to him though. I really don't think of, because he's got he's got the thrall coming up. He's gonna get in there on the warrior priests. I don't think he can kill this doom weaver. This is what a crazy fucking match. I, is this what he's waiting for, hoping he'd pass his own route test? That is what it is, Reaper. No one gives me crush their will. I literally have it in my hands and they route. Meanwhile, Quist is like, go ahead, have it. I'd have three fucking crushes accomplished. <laughs> it's a little... Yeah, it's a little irritating. Just a little bit. But we're doing fine as a warband. It's just a game. Yeah, I mean, Quist had the victory in his fucking hands. Yeah, it's over now. He's literally going to kill the warrior priest. There's nobody left. It's over. Uh... Witch Hunters, don't be too hard on Quist. We're all going to have to call him a very honorable gentleman. I don't know why Witch Hunters are being honorable towards the undead. That doesn't make any sense to me. But, uh, yeah. Congrats on the free secondary. That bullshit route test. Um, I didn't see the route test. It would have been very low. Wow. I mean, wow, man. I guess that All makes up for flesh must that make up for Anir versus. Um, Only those who have she's loud. Anir versus Nashi, where he passed the rat test. I don't know, cause he got crushed the, the will out of that one. That was fucking crazy. All right, well, we'll leave it there and bring it over to Discord, guys. Uh, <laughs> what a game.